look at some multiplication of decimals. What you have when you are multiplying by decimals is you no longer have to line up the decimals like you did when you were doing um, addition and subtraction, but you do have to line up the numbers as if the decimals weren't there. So I'm going to look at the 0 .06 or 6 hundredths multiplied by the 5 tenths. Okay, notice that I'm lining up the numbers on the right side. When I go to multiply, I'm going to be multiplying the 6 times 5, which is 30. But now I have to account for the decimal points. Noticing right here, I have two numbers behind the decimal there. Here I have one number behind the decimal. And when I add up the 2 and the 3, the 2 and the 1, I get three digits behind the decimal. That means in my answer, I'm going to have to have one, two, three numbers behind the decimal also. Noticing here, I have 30 thousandths, and I can always take off the zero on the end, which would leave me three hundredths for my answer. Another example. I have 4 and 2 tenths times 12. What I'm going to do is line up, and since they both have two digits, it really does not matter which one's on the top and which one's on the bottom. I'm just going to do them in order, and times the 12. Now, remembering I have to count the number of digits behind the decimal, obviously I have 1 in this problem. Where's the decimal on the 12? Again, remember, the period's at the end of the sentence. The decimal is at the end of the number, which means I have 0 here, which means my answer is going to have a total of one number behind the decimal point. So what I've got is I can go ahead and just start multiplying. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Remember to count over. 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4, add up, I got 10, carry 1, gives me 5, and remember I've got to have one number behind the decimal point, so my answer is 50 and 4 tenths. Well, looking at these numbers, they can be a little bit intimidating, but remember, we're going to line up the numbers on the right. So I'm going to have 0 0.0625, which is 625 ten thousandths, times my 56 hundredths. Okay, looking at my decimals, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers behind the decimal there. I have two decimal or numbers behind the decimal here, which will give me a total of 6 numbers behind the decimals in my answer. So going ahead and multiplying it, I got 5 times 6 is 30, carry my 3. 12 plus 3 is 15, carry 1, and 36 plus 1 is 37. Okay, I'm going to take away my carrying then and start again. By remembering, move over 1, 5 times 5 is 25. 10 plus 2 is 12, carry 1, and 30 plus 1 is 31. Now, adding them up, I've got 0, 10, carry 1, 10, carry 1, 5, don't carry, and 3. Remembering I have 6 numbers behind the decimal, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and yes, you must add a zero to the front. And again, remembering any zero on the end, I can take off. So my answer is 35 thousandths. One trap you have to watch out when you're divide, or multiplying decimals is when you add and subtract, you get so used to just dropping it down. And if you have the same number of decimals 
in both of them. You have two here and two here. Remember, you've got to add these up to give you a total of four in your answer. So doing this problem, you've got the one times two, the one times one, count over, one times two, one times one, you've got one, three, one, and it's so easy to drop it down. But notice, if you <laughs> drop it down, you won't have the right number of decimals. You've got to go one, two, three, and add your zero in the front. So be careful that you don't fall into that add and subtract 